Um, I mean, as I sit here on the eve of, um, <coughs> excuse me, on the eve of one of the greatest uh, sporting events that we have in sports, um, you know, race and what's going on comes again. And, um, and on my behalf and my family's behalf. But I mean, I look at it as this, I mean, if this, if this is the shed of light and uh, continue to keep the conversation going on my behalf, then, then I'm okay with it. Um, you know, my family is safe. Um, at the end of the day, they're safe and that's the most important. But it just goes to show that, um, that racism uh, will always be a, a part of the world, a part of America. And, um, you know, hate, um, you know, in America, especially for African Americans, um, is uh, is living every day. And even though that, you know, that it's concealed most of the time, even though people hide their faces and will say things um, about you, and when they see that smile on your face, um, it's alive every single day. And um, and I think back to Emmett Till's mom. Actually, it's kind of one of the first days I thought of and. And the reason that she had a, a open casket is because she wanted to show the world um, what her son went through as far as a hate crime and you know being black in America. Um, so it's like it doesn't, no matter how much money you have, um, no matter how famous you are, no matter how many people admire you, um, you know, being being black in America is. It's tough, and uh, and we got a long way to go, um, you know, for for us as a society and for us as African Americans until we until we feel equal um, in America, and um, you know, but 